I'm Isabella Achenba Kwachi. I'm a retired professor at the School of Public Health, University of Ghana. Um, but for reasons of uh, lack of capacity, us retired folks are so needed uh, to help boost up uh, the, the research and teaching uh, of the institution. So we are brought up, uh, we're brought back as um, retired faculty uh, on a two yearly basis, uh, depending on how well we fare health wise. <laughs> When I, I came back, uh, and there was a colleague of mine, Dr. Addison, we did the MPH uh, program at London School. And when he heard of uh, the work I was doing at Cameroon, he said, someday when you come back home, we have to establish the, these, uh, one of these longitudinal field sites to understand malaria in a village uh, that I have. I have a friend, a chief, uh, who would love to uh, help us do this research in the village. And this village is called pont on sea um, you know, and they didn't have any healthcare center. And Dr. Addison, who's you know my contemporary, I said we did the MPH together at London School in 1974, and we planned that somebody will work together in the villages. So he and is part of the Rotarian uh, Club, Tema, and they literally every uh, uh, month they would go and give free healthcare, and then they collected funds and started building a, a health center. And when it was almost ready, they invited the, go the government, took it over and finished it. And then it's now become, uh, you know, uh, um, uh, part of the Ghana Health uh, Services Health Center to the extent that now it's become a, a, a district. But it used to be a small village with no healthcare center. And, uh, Dr. Addison and the Rotarians started building it. So when I came, Dr. Addison and I, I got a, a grant from uh, MIMCOM, uh, you know, uh, TDR MIM, uh, and uh, we got funding to establish the field site like I did in Cameroon, here in Pumonsi, literally look at malaria from birth to aging. The children and, uh, and, you know, we're doing everything. Uh, we're looking at the mosquitoes, what types of mosquitoes transmit malaria there, you know, uh, what are the genetics of the population, what type of parasites. And then the chief, you know, and, and it was a site for students to do their dissertation. You know, one would look at um, the environment, was the environment that will encourage uh, uh, breeding of mosquitoes. Some were looking at health-seeking behavior of the population, you know, what kinds of drugs. They... So the chief called Dr. Addison and said, I know you're interested in malaria, but the, my problem in this village is the teenage pregnancy. That these girls, I mean, don't even finish primary and they, you know, they, they're just pregnant all over the place. So how can you find me the, what the problem is and what we can do to make sure these young girls finish at least senior high school? So we set one of the MPH students, did a brilliant work. We've got to, she's now working with the um, Episcopalian uh, monitoring and evaluation for Episcopalian uh, NGO somewhere. But this girl worked for three months in the village, identified that for the problems, because there was no electricity. There's no, 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 no support systems. You know, so in, in doing all this, they, we identified the problem and uh, the recommendations was for the Ghana Health Service, the Reproductive Health Session, to come and set, you know, a resource center in the village so that the teenagers can access, you know, uh, uh, some learning skills to be part of the school. You know, so, uh, so they found out, you know, they really didn't have anything to do, you know, by six o'clock, I mean, and, you know, the, the, it was, uh, uh, you know, for money, you know, the, these uh, kids who look for, uh, you know, sugar daddies and, uh, you know, so they identified, uh, you know, all the problems that you need to engage these people in useful enterprise. Um, and so uh, the recommendation was to bring the Ghana Health Service in, uh, put in the resources that will, uh, you know, help them encourage the young people to see that their future is better than just having children before, you know, even junior high. But, you know, but th these are the kinds of uh, uh, things that uh, we, we engage the community to, uh, to the extent that, and periodically we have to uh, let them know what we're doing, and um, and we also brought in the head of um, the, the uh, one of the top physicians in 
um, uh, his, uh, his expertise in hypertension to look, uh, look at risk factors uh, in hypertension and diabetes. You know, so we screened the whole village and people were running around with uh, di diabetics who didn't even know a large percentage of villagers were diabetics and hypertensive. These would just drop and they say probably some old lady in the house uh, was responsible for their death and it was just because they were they didn't know they were hypertensive. Yes.